Hi, I'm Chris from Back to Earth, and I wanted to introduce our new Flex product. So this is the Styco Flex product, which replaces our Udi Flex uh, range. And in this video, Martin and Will from Styco are going to discuss the product, its properties, and where best to use it. Hello, my name is Will from Eco Merchant, and today I am here with Martin, the technical manager from Styco. Um, as a merchant, we get asked plenty of questions, and today we're looking at some questions we get asked about Styco Flex wood fiber insulation. Uh, Martin, it's a popular product. Um, can you just tell us briefly where this would go in a construction project and how it might be used? Uh, the simple answer is you can use it in the same areas you would use uh, glass wool and mineral wool, so in between timber frame studs in between timber rafters in a roof, so same application area, and essentially, as far as U-value is concerned, same performance. So pretty much the most broadly used insulation material uh, on a building would be represented by a, a flexible wood fibre bat. So let's just have a look at some of the key features. So what are the key features that you, you would want someone to focus on when they're choosing insulation that would perhaps be highlighted by flex? Um, I think the first thing you'll notice when you use um, a glass wall or a mineral compared to Styco Flex is that a Styco Flex is a much more rigid product. What that means is that it fits between a stud much better, so it friction fits between a timber frame and rafter, so you don't need then to have any worries about slumping of product um, in, in the frame, um, and you get therefore a much better performance from the product overall. Okay, so it's a friction fit, fits nice and tightly, uh, doesn't leave any gaps, and it's easy to use. Okay, that's fine. Um, so some of the other features of this product is it's quite dense. Um, perhaps you could just talk us through the implications of the density and, and how this is actually used and what it might do. Yeah, typically, it, because it has the same lambda values, so the same thermal conductivity, same U value, but it's about two and a half times as dense as mineral walls or glass walls. That means it's much better at summer heat protection. So a wood fiber insulation will work all year round. So it will keep you nice and warm in the winter, but it will also keep a building much cooler during the summer months. And this is because the density helps prevent the heat being transferred through the building envelope itself, yeah. because it resists it, it absorbs the heat and, and it resists its passage through the actual building structure. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's a unique product mix of low thermal conductivity, high specific heat capacity and high density. And it's those three values that are critical for summer heat protection. Okay, so the last thing really that we get asked about is breathability. Perhaps you could just give us a few words on breathability and how this behaves in a building and why that might be of benefit. Yeah, breathability is all about the passage of water vapour. So um, a, a wood fibre product is water vapour open, which means it, it allows water vapour to pass through the building structure. A lot of um, petrochemical type based insulations are vapour closed, so they trap moisture, so there can be condensation risks associated with those products a wood fibre will handle moisture much better. It can absorb and evaporate moisture and hence keep, keeps that breathability and internal climate much healthier. Okay, so there we have it. A few of the key questions that we get asked answered. Um, obviously, if you have any more questions, please give us a ring, call us or visit the website. There's plenty of data on this. But it does go to show that this is a popular product for a reason. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's a good performer. So if you're interested in Cycloflix, please visit the website or be in touch.